here we are, and we're going to rock the kitchen tonight. Hey there, I'm Cat Tate, and this is Rock in the Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you some really easy, quick, inexpensive recipes that not only taste great, but it'll keep you rocking. So come on! The menu is Cal Asian kebab. This is a very simple recipe. It's easy to do. It's very inexpensive, downright cheap, because we're going to use a cheap cut of meat. And amazingly enough, cheap cut of meat is going to taste a lot better than an expensive one. And I'll show you why. What's the secret? You ask me, what's the secret? Well. Let me show you. It's chuck steak. Chuck steak is a very, very flavorful meat, but it's kind of tough. And how you get around it being tough are a couple of different ways. You can have the butcher run it through the tenderizer. Now look at all that fat and marbling. That's what, what gives the meat flavor. And that's going to cook up really nice. Well, another thing you can do to tenderize the meat is you can tenderize it. Anything will work. And you take the meat, put it on, and you pound it. Give it a pound. Basic ingredients for this recipe that you're going to need are garlic, which I'm cheating. It's already done. Soy sauce, sake, and this little guy, ginger. Always make sure you have nice sharp tools. <laughs> yeah, right. I want to start off with some cloves of garlic. This is the easiest way to do the garlic. Take, get a nice chopper like this. Put it there. Give it a, give it a smash. Give it a smash. Give it a smash. See how easy that is? Now this is going to chop up real easy. Then make sure you protect your fingers, otherwise you're going to miss the gig. Curve your fingers back like this, and give it a chop. You have to chop this up real fine. It can be very coarse because it's going to be part of the flavor. Next ginger. Cut the ginger and not using that but using a different knife because you don't want to cut your fingers. Trim off the skin of the ginger and yes this has been washed and cleaned. And that part you discard that. You ever seen one of these? You can buy this practically anywhere and if you don't have a food processor, this works fantastic. Just come in here and grate this ginger up like this. Take this, kind of toss it together. Now we're going to cut this up later into skewers, but for right now, Take a nice piece of steak like this, take a little bit of this, and just kind of pat some in there, flip it over, pat a little bit more on top. This is black pepper, just a little bit, not a lot, because you don't want it too hot, but a little black pepper always makes things taste great. And you just continue doing that. You do not want to use salt in this uh, because whenever you use soy sauce, don't use salt. It will be too salty. Now, here comes the really cool part. Where is it? Aha. Uh, there we go. You can find this in just about any market uh, in the uh, international food section. And what this is is wasabi paste. Now I'm using the wa wasabi paste. If you can't find it, you can always use the powder. 
but I like the paste better because it's just a little bit stronger and you don't have to sit there and mix it. Now, we're going to make the marinade that's going to go over the meat. As I said, you can use any thing that you've got in your kitchen to mix this with. So literally, I'm going to use that uh, cup. And what you want to do is equal parts of soy and sake. This is sake. The other thing I was going to mention is when you use any kind of liquor or, or spirits in cooking, use a good one because if you're not willing to drink it, don't cook with it. And uh, cooking wines that they call quote unquote cooking wines, don't use them. They're too salty. Their salt content's too high and the food just doesn't taste good. So we're going to use equal part of sake to soy. And about a tablespoon of wasabi paste. And this wasabi paste is really good. Yeah, that's wasabi. All right, so about a, about a tablespoon of that goes in there. And this you need to mix up very well. Because you know like at a sushi bar, if you don't mix up the wasabi with the um, soy, all of a sudden you get a big blast of wasabi that clears your nostrils out like this just did to me. And just add this in. And there's a little bit of wasabi stuff in there, but that's all right because there we go. It's going to get mixed around. Okay, then here comes the fun part. Get in here with your hands and flip it over. What this is doing is it's getting all the mixture in and marinating it. And this meat is going to soak up all of this and it's going to be wonderful. Just like a sponge. See that? Okay, now this, you're done with this, so you want to set this aside and let it marinate Usually uh, a couple of hours is cool. You know, the longer you let it sit in here, the more flavor it's going to uh, enhance. Okay, now it's time to pull the meat out. And there it is. Nice marinated, juicy, all the spices in there. Skewers soaked in water so the ends don't burn. Let's make some kebabs. Now you notice how nice and all that garlic and ginger is adhering to the meat. Look at how the color of it now. It's perfectly marinated. Take your scissors, cut down, make yourself a strip. Super easy, grab a skewer, start at the end, flip it over, twist, stick it, twist, stick it, twist, stick it, twist, stick it. Stick it in, twist it, stick it in, twist it. Look at that, and then just slide it down a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Look at that, awesome. And that is chuck steak. It's going to taste amazing. Now it's time to heat up the meat. That went fast. The meat's done. Everybody's favorite eggplant. A couple of side dishes. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. That's the way to rock the kitchen. See ya.